starting this vlog. I don't want to. Joel was like, get the camera, you're filming this. But let me just give you a little backstory first. Landon kept telling Joel, as soon as quarantine is lifted, I wanna come and help you with your new house. I wanna work on the new house with you. So he was like insistent. And Landon, they, Julie, my sister, Julie, her husband Landon, they have a vlog channel. I'll put it in the description for you guys. His plate is full. It is at max capacity. He helps everyone, everyone, like he volunteers for everything. And so I just said, I'm not going to have you come up and help us. You are too busy, like we're fine. So my very first vlog ever was of us going to their house in Missouri and like working on their basement. I'll have that in the description too. Anyway, he was pretty insistent and it's funny because hindsight, there was like this confirmation in my heart when Julie called and was like, Landon really feels like he needs to come up and help you guys with the new house. You should let him come up. And so we're like, okay, quarantine is like, has a light lift. We can have you guys here. Yeah, come up. For the last three months, I have been saying, every time I walk into the cold room, it kind of has this like musty feel. And I'm like, Joel, we need, like what's going on in the, what's going on in the cold room? Like something is going on. He's like, we'll get into it. We'll look, we'll see. And then the other day, I went to grab a tomato jar and these were covered in mold, like the rims were. And so I thought that we didn't properly seal them or something. So we cleaned those. And then today, we just, we were having breakfast and I have come in here a bajillion times. I bent down like this, just like this, to grab something and my eye caught underneath the shelves. And you can see there is mold. Mold sickles. Mold sickles. <laughs> all over here. The worst ones were right here. We already took them outside. I wasn't gonna vlog because I was like, Joel, this is humiliating. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to show everyone my business. And he was like, nope, you're vlogging this. He's like, get the camera. So you can just see there's mold everywhere. And you can kind of smell it. Well, kind of, nothing, like you can very So it was smell. very inspired that you insisted on coming up and helping us, and I think, oh, no, it I'm glad was. I found it today. Like, I'm glad to be here today to help, because this is a big project. It is no coincidence. I was telling these guys, I said, when you and, when Julie called me, like, hindsight, it's like I could feel it in, like, my heart. Like, I was like, yeah, oh. like, okay, you can come up. And then it just happens to be, like, I've been suspecting something in here for four months. And it just happened to be the morning that you guys were here. So they bagged the idea of going to the new house. And we're spending the entire day <laughs> cleaning up in here. Good news. So. I found Cody's pocket knife in case. What? My mom is going to die! I found a little smoky sausage and some crackers Ew. too. That <laughs> is freaking disgusting. It's not Kids moldy. are nasty. It's not moldy though. Kids are nasty. Oh my gosh. We have to look at this. I cannot wait to show my mom. So I was a little just like, not emotional yet. So I had Brie come over and I was like, Brie, come on over, you can help me. Right now, Julie took all of our kids over to Ellie's house to like watch the kids. They left a couple here, because I don't want to be selfish and leave them with all my kids. Anyway, so I was like, Brie, stop and find some bleach. Stop and grab some Clorox wipes. And then she proceeded to send me all the pictures of the empty shelves. I've been trying to get bleach for quite a while now and we haven't been able to find it so I called my mom and I was like, mom, we can't find any bleach. Like, can you please bring us up some? But we're gonna make a train. We're gonna clean everything in the cold room. This is a joyous <laughs> job. Welcome to the house today. Uh, <laughs> but I'm grateful you're here. <laughs> I know, how, I don't know how much bleach to put in because it says if you're gonna soak, it says do a fourth a cup. And then if you rinse the solution, approximately one tablespoon of bleach per gallon of water. Oh dear. So a lot is for soaking. Just do the fourth cup. Yeah. Sure. I would just do that and stick it in that. Just go. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, that's what I would do. And then we'll rinse this really good and we'll just leave this sitting here. And do you see how nicely Brie has all the like rags? <laughs> I'm like, nothing's touching <laughs> it. She, <laughs> she knows me so well. <laughs> The thought of getting rid of these boxes just makes me want to cry. I know I hang on to stuff, but that's like one of the things that I'm like, I can't get rid of our boxes. <laughs> See how old those are? So we're gonna try and save those. Most cardboard stuff is just trashed, but we're gonna take them out in the garage and we're going to see if we can keep them. So let me show you the assembly line. The boys are in here, feeling cleaning stuff, putting it in a box. 
Bree is sitting here cleaning items. I freaking love you so hard. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> Good. I'm like, even if it wasn't a work day, I'd be here. <laughs> Like, That's I'm, how amazing Bri is. My husband with. <laughs> that she's like our people. I mean, I wouldn't be able to have someone that wasn't me in my home every day. Okay, Olivia, come here. I got to show the and Emma. I got to show the assembly line. As Bri cleans items, Olivia and Emma are grabbing the items and then they're going to pack them on a tarp so we don't like get the floor or the walls with stuff. This is a really nice way to go through the inventory that's in here. We just went dismantled an emergency car kit that used to be in Frank. Frank 1.0. Where did those socks go? Right back in there. We had an emergency pair of sockies for Olivia in the... Look how little and warm those look. <laughs> I was a baby. Chula said, Bree, what haven't you witnessed? You've helped us through life. You've helped us through babies. You've helped oh. us through mold. You've helped us through water damage. She's heard a few fights. A few? <laughs> I ran straight in on her butt a naked. <laughs> pranced, I believe is the I word. I pranced in on her butt <laughs> freaking naked. Did you hear her laugh? Like, Your strep throat, when, remember when you were, Cody had strep throat? Oh. Yeah, what else? Which, and then like all the ER visits? visits? Oh, so many ER visits, yes. <laughs> what are you doing with this um, RSV, yeah. he's taken Lincoln in for stitches, RSV. When Jill and I were out of town, not quite sure how. And then when Cody got stitches flooding. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, that was on your watch though, yeah, so I, know, I mean, I just kidding. <laughs> That was your own fault, just kidding. <laughs> oh, spores. Oh, where's your mask and gloves? You should have your mask and gloves on. Wait, this is how coronavirus started. <laughs> We're patient zero. Hell, shiz. And all of you guys are contracted now because you watched the video. Larissa, you're just beautiful. I'm so glad you came in today. Oh, this is so beautiful. And you've just lost so much weight down here. I just can't even believe it. Update. The cold room is all the way emptied every single thing that you see out here has been wiped down with bleach and water solution that did i say that we found we ended up finding like a jug somewhere my mom was going to bring some up and then we were able to find a jug i can't remember if i said that you two have been the best helpers okay let's come on outside we are all very tired my throat's a little itchy <laughs> my hands are a little burny all of this stuff we need to like wash like our tent and stuff and then jars i want to go through these boxes and see what we can do oh look at all those cvx live posters and then this is all of the stuff we're putting in the garbage can it's the next day we had a professional come and kind of look over things and kind of give us their opinion on things they said we did a really good job uh, with what we did we ended up spraying several coats of a mold killer and preventer along the walls and so he said that it looked really good in here so we're basically going to um, let that dry and then tomorrow we'll probably arrange the shelves how we want them the, these will go in the garbage we'll get a new rug for in here just in case and then we'll start putting crap back Stay tuned guys and we'll see you all tomorrow for the hot mess that it will be.